This book is packed with more than a hundred practical questions and answers to help you become a more eco-friendly gardener and show you how to adopt a more sustainable way of gardening. The book includes simple, low-cost ideas from fun projects such as how to build a wormery or a homemade water butt to advice on which plants suit bees best and how to achieve a zero-waste garden. Good day readers and listeners and welcome to this, another edition of Tom's Rapid Reviews, where each week I take a few minutes to read out a review written by one of Surrey Library's lovely staff members and uh, I give a bit of context about the book that review has been written about and of the author too. And it's all done in the hope that you might be inspired to try something new to read or listen to in the coming weeks. So without further ado, let me introduce you to this week's book, which is the RHS's Do Bees Need Weeds? Do Bees Need Weeds was co-authored by Holly Farrell and Gareth Richards, both veterans of the Royal Horticultural Society and writing on its behalf. That's the same RHS that holds the Chelsea Flower Show and looks after gardens up and down the country. The book was published in 2020 and its full title is Do Bees Need Weeds? A Gardener's Collection of Handy Hints for Greener Gardening. It's a book that uh, considers then both gardening and environmental concerns. Let's see what staff at Rygate Library had to say about it, with a little extra embellishment from yours truly. Do Bees Need Weeds? is broken down into five chapters. The bigger picture, how to start green, greener edibles, wildlife backup, and reusing and recycling. Each chapter then is broken down into individual questions, such as how will gardening change in the next 20 years? Are all hedges good for wildlife? And of course, do bees need weeds? This book is a great read for anyone new to gardening, say Rygate, but also contains the odd tip for a more experienced gardener. So, based on Rygate's review, this book gets a four out of five. Yeah, if you're interested in gardening and uh, remaining eco-conscious, then this is a good book uh, to get you started. If you're interested more broadly in gardening uh, or DIY or looking after your home, Surrey Libraries have uh, plenty of books to interest you. Topics from decorating to pet ownership to growing your own fruit and veg can be explored in our non-fiction sections, usually marked H-O-M on the spine, for home. Like so. Some larger libraries uh, will also have some large print non-fiction books. Additionally, if you prefer or find ebooks more accessible, the Libby app which all Surrey Library members get to access, has a good selection of gardening magazines to read online. They include Amateur Gardening, Kitchen Garden and Garden Answers. So there you go. No need to get lost in the weeds with a little help from Surrey Libraries. If you've enjoyed today's instalment, please do comment and subscribe. Otherwise, stay safe, borrow books and we'll see you next time for another of Tom's rapid reviews.